uh, you were known as a comedy fan. Mm. Um, I would also say you're known as a very uh, funny comedian as well, in your own right. Yeah. I would say, who is who do you think the comedian equivalent of you is? Like, who's as good at basketball as a comedian as you? Is it Sandler? Is that the best we have to offer? I mean, I would I, I would take that in a heartbeat. Yeah. He's also a good basketball player. That's what I mean. So he yeah. has to be a comedian who's as good at basketball as you, a basketball player, are as comedy. Wow, okay, yeah, I'll take yeah. that. Okay, we'll I'll take, take Sandler. Yeah, I'll take right. it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> but, you. Uh, I was seeing on Twitter, uh, there was somebody showed up in, uh, at a Nets press conference and asked Kevin Durant some questions. And it turned out, it was David Letterman. Yeah, I was uh, I was walking the hall. Media day is just crazy. Everybody's going everywhere. I was walking the hallway to go to one of my next stations, and I, this guy turns a corner. I kind of look up. I don't even see his face or his profile. He's just kind of walking in, ahead of me. And I'm like, whoa, that looks like David Letterman. But he has like a T-shirt and jeans on, and he's walking by himself in the hallways of Barclays Center. I'm like, there's no way that's David Letterman. So I go about my business. I get to the press conference thing, and one of the reporters is like, do you, got, do you see David Letterman? And I was like... Why? <laughs> Why is David Letterman here? And then it turns out he, you know, interviewed KD a little bit. And were you, uh, were you bummed, one, uh, that no one got you? I would feel like somebody should have been smart enough to go get Blake Griffin if uh, David Letterman was around. Yeah, honestly, it's been a point of contention uh, with the team. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I would have loved to have met him, but um, I'm glad KD got that moment. That was, that was pretty cool. You uh, you had another moment uh, with uh, the dearly departed Norm Macdonald, who mm. you actually got to know over the years. I did, I did. He um, he surprised me at a press conference. I did a he had a show on Comedy Central my rookie year, so I did a, a part of his show, and then I went to go see him do stand up several times. And he came to my charity event uh, one year, and and funniest guy ever. Funniest guy ever. Uh, and then this I had not seen this, but somebody posted it online. Mm -hmm. I think after and because David Letterman went to this press conference. But this is right after. This was you giving a press conference, having won Rookie of the Year. Yes. And uh, you did not know that Norm was uh, in the press pit. I didn't. I didn't know he was. I mean, maybe I knew. Maybe I saw him, but I, did, I didn't think he was going to ask a question. <laughs> there was pe just people there. Yeah. He was basically in the audience. He wasn't even in the pre the press row. It really is a perfect Norm McDonald joke. Yeah to ask uh, the reigning Rookie of the Year. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, it's a question from, uh, from Blake's good friend, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> no, Blake, uh, it's fun watching you this year. Wasn't it cool? Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I was wondering, like, there's a kind of a curse with Rookie of the Year. Nobody's ever repeated it. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> well, I'll try as hard as I can next year, but. All right, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so good. It's perfect. It's so it's good. It's a perfect joke that has been there for the taking uh, forever. Every time, forever <laughs> since sport had rookie of the year. Yeah. Uh, but what a what a nice moment. He was great, man. It, like when I met him, I was like, I was so excited to meet him. And then, you know, he does the thing where he starts talking. And you're like, where are we going with this? Yeah. And then he just gets. He always finds it somehow. <laughs> he always finds it. And like seeing that in person was like. It was incredible for me. Yeah, it was really nice. It's fun to watch the clip, too, and watch the people around also realize that's yeah. Norman Donald. Yeah. And then some people, like, he didn't get that big of a laugh. Like, right. that's, a, that's a really good joke. <laughs> I think people were so thrown off. <laughs> it, it, uh, it, and that's the, the perfect Norm MacDonald. Perfect, uh, absolutely. Perfect execution, perfect joke. Uh, last time we talked, we talked about your podcast, The Pursuit of Healthiness. Yes. Uh, you just did a second season. Are you still enjoying that? I am, I am. It's really fun to, like have these conversations with people who are leading their fields in, in health and wellness, and I've got to talk to some really, really interesting people, and uh, I, I love that stuff, so it's, uh, it's been a blast for me. Do you find when you're doing it that it goes faster than you think it's gonna go when you're having the conversations? After a while, yes. At, at first, I was so nervous, and I was like, I don't wanna like bore them, I don't wanna do the thing where I can't think of the next question, so I was like constantly, they'd be answering, I'd constantly be like looking at my like sheet, like, <laughs> just like, and, but also trying to make <laughs> eye contact at the same time. Uh, but like, yeah, as, as I did more and more, like the, the conversation would just flow more naturally, and, and um, it was a little bit easy. It's not easy interviewing people, but um, I, I have a blast doing it. That's great. Well, congrats on that. Best of luck in the upcoming season. It's really nice to have you here in person. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You guys, that's Blake Griffin. His podcast, The Pursuit of Healthiness, is available exclusively on Audible. The NBA's 75th anniversary season tips off on Tuesday, October 19th, with the Brooklyn Nets facing the defending champs, the Milwaukee Bucks.